I'm Emma, and as you can see behind me, we're here at the BT Sports Industry Awards 2018. Let's go and interview some great sporting characters. My lucky charm. Uh, I used to have quite a few to be quite superstitious. Right now, I think it's my arm is full of silly tattoos that are quite lucky. So, and it it popped out in my last fight. But I still got through, so uh, it's it's still lucky. It would be my lucky underwear when I drop in. <laughs> uh, always before an event, um, yeah, I always have to have my lucky undies on. I remember when I first started playing, I'd have to wear the exact same boxers, the exact same socks, and then after ten games, you know, that probably has to stop because they're absolutely ruined. So. <laughs> Often we celebrate the men and women who play sport, don't we? Who achieve things. So this is kind of celebrating that, but it's all the people in the creative world and the industry that pull the things together that don't often get recognised and don't often get sort of the, the front and back page headlines. So it's nice to kind of celebrate all the work that goes on in a year. The sport industry is incredible. What it has done to sport, the business side of it, how it's nurtured and really taken on the world. We now are leaders in the industry, sports industry. People from around the world look to England, Great Britain, about how sport is run. It's recognition of you know, everybody that works so hard not just on the field of play but in the industry itself you know and it's great to get, be able to get everybody together to network it's always good to come to these awards because you see so many famous um you know sports personalities and it's great to see and recognize the people within the sports industry for all the good that they the work that they do just to, to see their faces and, the, and just hear about their stories what you see out on the sports field isn't everything and there's so much more that happens um, and it's fantastic to recognise those people at, the, at these kinds of awards. You highlight amazing achievements over the last 12 months, so it's a chance for everyone to get dressed up, whether you're suited, booted or in a nice dress, and have a great time, and some people get some deserved awards. They do the night so well, and it's a celebration of so many wonderful heroes in, in so many different ways. I really enjoy it. Advice to aspiring rubber players, you know, down there, stay flexible. Stay strong in the core. It's not all about beach weights. Do the yoga, stay strong, and you'll fly. Be courageous, um, challenge yourself, and if you enjoy doing something, um, stick at it. Um, even if you're the only one, I was the only girl growing up playing rugby in my area, um, and now there's over 100 women and girls in my local club. Just enjoy it, if you don't enjoy it, then there's no point doing it, so you've got to enjoy it to improve. You've got to love it, uh, and I'd just say enjoy every single day, work harder than everybody else. Stick with sport, if you love sport, that's what you know, stick with it, don't deviate. You can stand there and do anything and know fundamentally what you believe in and who you are so it's about your own self-worth and confidence for me it was always about working hard dreaming big and going for your ambition and doing everything that you possibly can day in day out to get there well that's it from us here at the BT Sports Industry Awards 2018 it truly shows that those who are behind the camera and presenting are just as important as the people playing the sport I've been Emma, reporting from the Evolution Centre. Thank you for watching.